yeah, this is guy I love and supernatural. And he's like, <laughs> while you while you look at me while your penis is inside of me, um, look at this. Check this out, babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all over the arm. You can't miss it. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure you got a lot of cum splattered on your fucking signature. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> There's something for you to think about. <laughs> you, you, you took it there. You had I had to. I had to. That's the first thing I thought of is like, I'm a dick. I'm having sex with her, and all of a sudden, you know what? Mm, the arm is where I'm aiming for. But anyway, you got a lot of crazy fans, a lot of groupies. Seeing that there's such a, a male fan base, do you feel like there might be a little bit more men than women as a big uh, crush fan base, I should say? Oh, it's it's mostly women at, at the conventions. I mean, you get the the guys who are drugged by the girlfriends, and you do there are there are the male supernatural fans. Um, but it's it's mostly women. Good. I was hoping you'd yeah. say that. I was hoping you'd <laughs> yeah. say that. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Um, I know yeah. you got a girlfriend. I know you're in a relationship, but still, yeah. just a little bit uncomfortable every once in a while. I've been to these conventions, and the guys like, I love you, and the drools come out of the side of the mouth, and it's just kind of creepy. Matt's recalling his own experiences that he does with celebrities. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, we got so many people are dying to ask you questions right now on the line. Again, 323-792-2992. We have JT from Texas. JT from Texas, you're on the line with Chad. Hi, Chad. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing okay. Um, my question is, if you could pick any actor to work with, who would it be and why? Uh, Ed, Ed Norton, because he's just freaking awesome. <laughs> he's so good. <laughs> uh, I love Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I think he's a great actor, and he's always somebody that sort of inspired me. Um, I I think I'm destined to play Giovanni Ribisi's brother. Oh <laughs> At yeah. Point him and I. My favorite the, retard actor. I love him. We've been getting mixed up for years, and I think it'd be great to play his brother. So I'm hoping that's in the card somewhere. We'll go with that. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, JT. Thank you so much for calling in. We have Heather from Decatur. Heather, you're on the line. Hey, Chad. Hi, Heather. How you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. Um, kind of breaking the fourth wall a little bit. I hate to ask you about this, but uh, when are you going to do the next uh, the blog entry for Sven the Vampire Blogger? He is freaking hilarious. I well, love thank you. him. <laughs> thank you. I, well, because you said that, I, I should uh, let him know he needs to put one up soon. <laughs> I actually want to make a web series with him because he's gotten so much reaction from fans and so and he's really endearing and he's so much fun to watch. So I, I appreciate that. I'm gonna I'm gonna let him know. Well the the main thing I wanted to ask you real quick and I'll go on ahead and let you go to the next caller about the Sven thing is that, you know, if if you're gonna talk to Sven anytime soon, uh how do you think he'd feel about the Fright Night remake? We know how sensitive he is when new vampire movies come out. He is very sensitive about new vampire movies. Um I think he might be open he heard it was good. And so, you know, he is a Colin Farrell fan. So, <laughs> you know, um he he may give Colin his blessing. Well, that's cool. That's that's good to know because I didn't know if he was going to be pro Fright Night or anti Fright Night because I loved the original. The original was awesome, but I didn't know how he was going to feel about that. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Heather. We really appreciate your call. We really appreciate your call. Uh, we have Mike from Florida. Mike, you're on the line. Oh, oh Mike. man. Hey, what's going on, Chad? How you doing? What's up, brother? How's it going? Good, man. I loved you in Fast and the Furious. It was just a great role. But um, I was curious, and something, I was always wondering, who's come tasted better, Vin Diesel or Paul Walker? Oh, uh, come on. <sighs> come on. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> now, let me answer. You get, I, I, I feel like you had an intelligent answer to that one. Wow. Wow. You took it there. Wow. You're taking it there. Uh, I thought you had a, I thought you were gonna slam him. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. All right, we have one of our regular callers, Shawnee. Shawnee's on the line. Shawnee. Uh, hey, 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 uh, 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 I've got two, two, uh, 
two two quick questions. Uh, I, I was wondering, is he he related to? I'm um, sorry, uh, Lindenberg. Are, are you are you related to the Lindenberg from 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 Office Space? From Office Space, no, no. Oh. Um. Okay. The other question I had. Um. Do you, you also like the uh, Indigo Girls? The Indigo Girls. You can't say that I'm a big fan of the Indigo Girls. Are Are you? <laughs> what a ridiculous! I just hung up on him. I just hung up on him. What a ridiculous <laughs> question. Now, now, Chad, you also, you know, from our uh, Twitter feed here, you have a couple of fans in Brazil that uh, wanted to ask you about your best memories uh, when you went to Brazil. Brazil, man, uh, we had so much fun. I, 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 the the ecstaticness in the room from Brazil was just on fire. There, you know, uh, they were so excited to have us, and uh, I'd never been to Brazil. And, uh, you know, what a better reason to go for Supernatural. Um, uh, they were awesome. They, they were totally awesome, you know. I hope to go back. Very yeah. good. All right. There yeah, you go. Yeah, a lot of big fans in Brazil. A lot of big fans in Brazil. Um, yeah. Hold on one second. We have Kristen from Iowa. Kristen, you're on the line. Hi. Hi, Maddie. I have two questions. Chad, can you hear me? I can. Hi. Hi, Chad. I'm I'm really a big fan. I was wondering um, if Jesse's character wasn't introduced and killed in Fast and Furious 1, what of the sequels would you prefer Jesse to be in? Um, I think number five would have been pretty kick-ass. And, you know, they seem to be bringing everybody back, so I really don't understand yeah. why they couldn't be like Jesse. You know? I know. You got shot. I got <laughs> shot. No, but it was never like declared like he was dead, dead. <laughs> so That's true. Yeah. I have yeah. one more question. Can you hear me? Yep, I can. Okay, remember when Jesse was at Race Wars and he was going against um, Johnny Tran and the um, Honda? Um, yeah. Did you know that there was a editing mistake in that scene? I I didn't know. What, what was it? They, they showed Johnny Tran wearing like a black tank top when they look through his car, and then they focus on you, and then they focus back to Johnny Tran, and he's wearing like a white shirt. Oh, I didn't oh, know that. Yeah, I caught that for you. Yeah, uh, that's good. I'm gonna go back and look at that. <laughs> it's true, Red Ray Force. Well, it was great right talking on. to you. Thank you, Chad. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Kristen. All right, we have. Hold on, which are we gonna take? We'll take Donna from New Jersey. Donna from New Jersey, you're on the line. Hey, how are you? Have you ever sucked on a uh, neck bone, fuck tooth? What? What was that? Well, hold on. I don't, I don't know what she said either. Hold on a second. What was that, Donna? Buck tooth. Have you ever sucked on a neck bone? No, I just hung up on her. Don't worry about that. What she at? Have you ever sucked on a neck bone, buck tooth? That's a, what, what the hell does that mean? That's really, whatever. No. I, I, that's not some inside joke or anything, is it? Yeah, no, I, it. I, like, yeah, I, I, but hey, you know, to eat your own, sure. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, Chad Lindbergh, Fast and the Furious, Supernatural, yeah. Ash, from yeah. every TV show you've ever seen. Yeah, really. What's going on? What's the next step for Chad Lindbergh? Uh, next week, I'm heading to Cleveland to do a movie called I, Alex Cross, who is being directed by Rob Cohen, who did The Fast and the Furious. And the movie stars Tyler Perry and Matthew Fox. And I have a small part in that. So that's what's next. I'm super excited about it. Awesome. And where can we check you out? Do you have a website we can check you out? The Twitter? Promote everything you can. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I'm tardy, I'm, yeah, Twitter... I'm on Twitter all the time, at Chavenberg. Um, I don't have a website yet. I should get one. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and then uh, at my big break as well on Twitter, where you can check out the movie. It just came out on Amazon. And, uh, yeah, man, follow me on Twitter. Absolutely. Char- Charles Lindbergh, son, Chad. <laughs> yeah. Chad Lindbergh, we love you, man. My big break. <laughs> 
to me, bro. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, everybody. Amazon.com. I'll be ordering it tomorrow. You've seen him in Fast and Furious. He's Ash on Supernatural. He's Charles Lindbergh's great-grandson. Check him out. He's amazing. (laughs) And anything you have to promote, you just let us know. We'll put it on the site. We follow his career very closely. We hope to be in touch soon. We love you, bro. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Awesome, man. Hopefully we can do it again soon. Absolutely. Definitely, man. Thanks Again, a lot. And anytime he's in a, in a place near you, any convention, any supernatural convention, any sci fi, horror, any convention, check him out. He's a cool motherfucking dude. Thank you so much, Chad. Word up. Thanks, guys. Take care. Thanks.